Welcome back to the bluegrass on this beautiful July day. It happens to be July 1st, which is three days before Independence Day. And what do we celebrate on Independence Day? We celebrate throwing off the yokes of British tyranny. That happened a couple hundred years ago, but it looks like we're in for a good yoke throwing off here pretty soon, only it's not going to be directed towards the British, it's going to be directed towards Washington, D.C. But uh, we can save that for a different video or maybe even on a different social media platform because I don't want to get kicked off of this one. All right? So we're going to stick with our, our initial uh, video idea, which is drown proofing part two. You'll remember in the first drown proofing video, we got uh, Ruth out and we had a little Jack Russell with us back then. Uh, she went home, but we've got Birdie with us today. And we had put, uh, put Ruth and the little Jack Russell puppy in the swimming pool, and we had tried to teach them that if they fall off a boogie board, they have to try to swim back to the boogie board, okay? And uh, what that's for is that's for if you find yourself in a lake area or a river area, sometimes a dog will get nervous and jump off the kayak and try to go to the, to the bank for some reason. Maybe they see something, something interesting, an animal, a child or something. And sometimes just the kayak will get to rock and you'll hit some rough water and the dog will just fall out. Okay. If that happens, we need for the dog to get back to the handler, to get back to the boat, instead of like seeing a bank line and headed towards the bank line because dogs don't understand depth perception very well. And so like in this instance, Ruth could fall off the boat, but say she fell off on that side. Okay, If she fell off on that side, she sees that far bank. She doesn't know that she's only uh, seven yards to dry land right here. So she's going to lobble to try to swim 100 yards. Okay, and she might not be able to make it. Okay, so what we do is we take the dogs, we put them in our little pool, and we teach them to come to us when we call them or to find us if they find themselves in a position where they've fallen off of a boat or some other type of uh, uh, floating apparatus. So basically what we're doing here is we're pretending that this pond is just our little uh, pool at the kennel. Dog's gonna fall out of the boat and then the dog has to get back to the boat for safety. All right, so uh, here's George and Ruth and Birdie and they're out for their kayak in session and they run into some rough water. This could be wind, this could be uh, a, another boat went past you and it's going really fast creating a big wake okay and Ruth falls out of the boat oh my gosh now you see she'll think about going to the bank and we're just going to explain to her nope come back to us so she's going to come back over here and I might have to let her swim around the circle or two for a second George is going to help her into the boat oh get her paws up there and then help her in okay we'll do it again so Ruth's out there, they've been having a good time kayaking, get the music on, partying, oh, it's a party. Here comes a boat, big wake. Oh my gosh, Ruth falls off of the kayak into the lake. She starts going towards the bank. Ruth, come back. We use a long line to explain to her we'd like for her to come back. She gets to where George is, even if she has to spin in a circle once or twice. See, she's trying to make her own decisions. You remember this from the video in the pool. We're just going to be patient. We're going to turn her around. Let her come to where Georgie is. And George is going to help her into the boat. Very nice. Good. <laughs> Look, Ruth is already saying she's had enough of this drown proofing exercise. She's trying to stay on Georgie's lap. All right. Again, George is out. And they're partying, but here comes a big wake. Oh my gosh. And Ruth falls out of the boat. She goes to go away. George calls her. Ruth, Ruth come on. Turn her around. It should get a little easier every time. Come help her put her paws on there. Very nice. Right, well, I'm back. Uh, had a little microphone problem. Guys, I've spent uh, more money on broken microphones than I've made in my whole YouTube career. Uh, I am a warranty buster when it comes to electronics. All right, but anyway, so this is going to be la Ruth's last attempt. We're going to move out a little farther. And what we're going to try to do is give Ruth some extra long line and let her get up towards the bank so that she gets tired. I'm gonna let her get tired. I want her to understand that swimming away from the boat leads to fatigue, because fatigue is what leads to drowning. So I'm gonna go ahead, oh, they're partying, but there's a big wake, and Ruth goes out into the pond, and there she goes away. But I'm gonna stop her with the long line and call her. Ruth, come on. 
Now she might fight me for a minute because she thinks she knows best. This is a very important step in this process. I want to let her get tired because that's what happens to them, guys. If they fall out of the boat or fall out of the canoe or the kayak and they see the far bank, then what they end up doing is thinking they can make it when they can't and they end up drowning. Now, so you see Ruth finally gave up and moved back over here towards us and we want her to understand that coming towards us leads to safety. It's a key element in drown proofing your dog. All right, so that's enough for Ruth. I think we got four or five repetitions in with Ruth and now we're gonna get some repetitions in with Birdie. Same scenario, they're out, they're having a good time. A big boat comes by with a wake and Birdie falls off of the kayak. Oh no! And she starts swimming towards the bank. <laughs> Except Birdie didn't swim towards the bank. She just come right back over here to us. Very good dog, Birdie. Oh, you a smarty. So I kind of help her. Come on, help. Very nice. Oh. Georgie, sometimes I call him the blister because he shows up after the work is done. You see, I already had this dog back in the back in the kayak before he even sprung into action. I would not want to depend on George to save me from falling out of the kayak for sure. All right, okay, we're gonna do it again. So it's a big wake, oh my gosh. And Birdie falls out of the boat, oh no. And look, <laughs> look, Birdie's smart. She ain't even trying to go to the bank. She says, let me back in that kayak. Very good. She can sit right on George's lap. <laughs> All right, we're going to try to get one more successful repetition. Sudden something bad happens, and oh no, she's in the water. Birdie, come on, come on. Now, it's very important, guys, when you're working on uh, drown proofing, that you do not do all the work for your dog when you put them in the boat, okay? Dogs are like children. If you'll do the work for them, they'll let you do the work. So what you try to do is in the beginning stages, you might do 90% of the work and the dog does 10%. But every session, you flip that percentage around until the dog is doing 90% and you're doing 10%, okay? And why that's important, you might say, well, Stoney, why? You know, as long as the dog will come back, I can always use my strength to help it get in the boat. You're, you're maybe not thinking this through. If you, you know, if your dog falls out of the boat, it's likely that either you fell out of the boat or your gear fell out of the boat also. So you're trying to get all of your gear. So you don't have 100% of your energy to, to direct towards getting the dog back in the kayak or the boat or the canoe, okay? So we have to make sure that the dog's doing a considerable portion of the work by itself, okay? All right, well, that's all I got for you today. Uh, I hope you enjoy Independence Day, and never forget, guys, America was founded with the idea of being free from tyranny, so don't accept it from anybody. Remember, the United States was built on a foundation of freedom, and you don't let that freedom go anywhere, no matter what the price.